Hi everybody, this is Teddy's Easy Recipe, and today I'm going to make a rosary. I already made one video with the rosary, but I'm going to make a shorter version of it because it's a little long. So let's get started. First of all, you need glue, needle and thread, knife, poker, brush, and for the glue. Okay, I'm going to make this a quick one. Scissors. And then. First of all, I already made my rosary, as you can see. I made everything last night. So, you can see. And you'll also see there's spaces between here. Which, you can move them up. I don't know how good you can see this, but... That's the rosary. First of all, you take a needle and thread. Stick the needle through each bead until you get the rosary you want, as long as you want. You leave five inches at the end of the beads, five inches on the other end. The reason is so you can wrap one around here. Take the glue put glue around it so it will stick lay it down let it dry put your rosary on the table shape it how you want it then you're going to have five inches on this end which you're going to take your cross which I showed you in the other video let's just use this one put a dent in it take the leftover thread that's here you want to take this thread, you want to put it in back of the indent, take your brush, put glue on it, take your brush, put glue on it again, lay it down so it can dry, spread your rosary, of course, you want to spread your rosary on a table. I just got to get my camera on. You can see the rosary. There. Take your things separate. As you can see, let's see. Right here you can see a little space. So we're going to separate that. Take glue. Put between it. And the reason you're putting glue between each and every one of these is so the glue will dry on the string and your beads won't move. So you can do that twice and let it dry. Um, you let it dry for as long as you want, then do it again. And there's your rosary. Like I said, all you have to do is take the needle and thread, put it through these beads. You can see I made a lot of these. And I took the needle through each one of them until I got long enough where I can lay it on the table. See how big I wanted my rosary? Leave the five inches at the end so you can make your cross and put an indent. You put the string in there. You put the glue, tap it with the glue. Of course, tap with the glue. And then the other end, you wrap around, you leave one, two, three, four, five. You take the extra string that's on this side, you wrap it around, you glue it, mess with it, glue it, lay it back on the table, shape your rosary, separate all your beads how you want them. I use this, I just separate them, push them, separate them, push them. And here you are. There is your rosary. So when you make your beads, you make your little balls like this. You let them dry for like about half an hour. Then you start putting your needle through it. When you separate your beads, you want it like you want, you put the glue, put glue in between them. You want the glue on the thread so the 
the glue will get hard on the thread and your beads won't move around so here's just a short version that I'm showing you of my homemade rosary there we go all right thank you for watching my videos it was just a short version of course I showed you how to do the cross you just shape it how you want to cut it and that's it so anyways this is my most important thing I wanted to show you was the rosary it's done and thank you for watching my video